Hi, so Johnny, you do it. Uh, here I'm demonstrating how to attach a bottom plate to a concrete floor. Now, this will typically be done in a garage when you're trying to add a wall or in a basement uh, where you're trying to finish a basement. Here, this is our uh, basement floor, and uh, this is creating a, a wall for a music studio. Uh, this wall will be insulated. Attaching it to the floor, I apply some OSI uh, F38 glue uh, to the floor in a uh, zigzag pattern. I put the board on there, I line it up, and then I shoot uh, two and a half inch Ramson nails uh, through the board into the floor. Now you may notice that this didn't happen to me, but you may notice that depending on the level of shot you're using, uh, the nail may not penetrate the concrete all the way. Uh, you can ease that up by drilling a pilot hole through uh, the board, and you should be using pressure treated board if it's coming in contact with uh, the floor. You could drill a pilot hole that's slightly smaller than a nail itself, and that way uh, when a nail goes through, it, it'll it have more momentum when it comes in concrete contact with the concrete. Here I have a, another piece. This is an offset wall uh, to come in uh, alignment with the closet. Same process, just applying some adhesive in a zigzag pattern. And I set the board in place and nail it uh, using a rent that... So the combination of the nails and the glue will keep a f keep the board from moving laterally and up and down. Uh, when you have the wall in place, uh, the studs in contact with the upper floor, uh, that will uh, give it some extra strength because it'll be a force fit. Now you do have to be careful uh, with your code because you may have a floating floor and you may you, you should use this method for the bottom plate but then you may need a floating wall that does not come in contact directly with the bottom plate in other words the floor can float up and down as much as an inch to uh, three inches 